Let's bring you the news update at this time. And we begin in Enugu, where the Independent National Electoral Commission has declared the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Peter Amba, as the winner of the March the 18th governorship election in the state. The governor-elect, who pulled 160,895 votes to defeat his closest rival, Chijuke Edoaga of uh, the Labour Party, who scored 157,000 552 votes, and Uchi Naji of the All Progressives Congress, who got 14,575 votes. Mba's victory was announced by the returning officer, Professor Madre BBC of Oiwe, two days after INEX suspended collation in the state due to alleged electoral malpractice. And we move to Abia State, where the governorship candidate of the Labour Party, Alex Oti, has been declared winner of the March the 18th governorship election. The returning officer of the Independent National Electoral Commission in the state, Professor Nina Nanaya Oti, declared Mr. Oti the winner at the resumption of the final collation results in Umahia, 48 hours after the electoral body suspended the exercise in the southeast state. Before the announcement, returning officer promised to do the right thing in order to protect democratic values. Mr. Oti pulled 175,467 votes to defeat his closest rival, Okea Hiwe of the PDP, who scored 88,529. Now, more congratulatory messages are pouring in for Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, as Nigeria lawyer Taiwa Polabi has congratulated the governor on his victory at the polls. The business magnet says that the governor is a performer who has the credibility to direct uh, the affairs of the state to an appreciable level. He called on Governor Sawulu to hit the ground running in his second term journey and bring more dividends of democracy to Lagosians for the state to grow to enviable heights. Let me seize this opportunity to congratulate uh, Sawulu because he has won and we need to congratulate him because he has done well. Uh, we have no doubt without, uh, by not congratulating him. I am congratulating him now that for the second time that he has been elected. To the negotiators, I mean, it's a good thing for us. Uh, we have to celebrate him because he's a man that is very humble. He's a man that is being respected and he's a man that is a performer. The Federal High Court seating in Abuja has dismissed an application filed by suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abakiari, challenging the jurisdiction of the court to try him. The livering ruling, Justice Emeka Nguite, held that the powers of the Police Service Commission do not supersede the powers of the Federal High Court. Judiciary correspondent Celestina Iria has details. The Federal High Court says he has the power to hear drug-related offences as enshrined in the Constitution and the NDDA Act. The court noted that the subject matter of the case against suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police is within the jurisdiction of the Federal High Court. Section 251 of the Constitution confers the court the power to hear and determine the charges brought before it. Abakiari had told the court that the charges against him were premature, insisting that the NDLEA ought to have allowed the police to exhaust its internal machinery before it instituted the action. He told the court that the police had already commenced an investigation into allegations against him and issued an interim report. Mr. Kiari maintained that he could only be charged to court upon conclusion of the internal investigation by the police. He argued that the Police Service Commission has similar powers to investigate and discipline airing police officers in line with the Police Act and regulations, the same way the National Judicial Council disciplined judicial officers. Justice Waiter stressed it is wrong to give the Police Service Commission the same statute of provisions with the National Judicial Council. It was taken at the last adjourned date and really was delivered today. The court in its wisdom is of the opinion that Police Service Commission is not listed in the exception provisions in the Constitution and has said that he will, not, he will not allow the Police Service Commission to proceed with the matter before the charge proceeds. So as it is now, 
he insists the court ruled that the trial must continue. The provision says that the Nigerian police force is the highest investigating body in the country. It means that, and their commander-in-chief is the president, it means that any person arresting a police officer without recourse to the president is arresting the president. It's until and when the constitution which established the police, service com uh, police, co police and police service commission and even the police council says otherwise, we cannot uh, begin to adjudicate otherwise. Mr. Kerry, who is a former head of intelligence response team of a Nigerian police force, is facing prosecution by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. The matter was subsequently adjourned to 16th March for continuation of trial. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja. Officers of the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency will now get a better deal from the federal government as a reward for their commitment to the war against hard drugs in the country. The Federal Executive Council has approved the construction of barracks accommodation for personnel of the agency to boost their morale and sustain the momentum they have recorded in the recent past. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde tells us more about this week's Federal Executive Council meeting. Personnel of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. The federal government is clearly impressed with the performance of the NDLE under the leadership of General Buba Marwa. Three quarters of 2023, about 18,940 arrests were effected by the NDLEA and indeed drugs, the estimated value of which is over 40 billion naira were confiscated. Again, about 2,904 convictions were recorded. The Federal Executive Council also approved the review of the 2022 National Agricultural Seed Policy with the aim of providing Nigerian farmers with easy access to quality seeds that can compete in the world markets. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mohammed Abubakar, says with the emerging technology in seed production globally, the agri sector will now get greater priority so as to sustain national food security. Our farmers must have access to best quality seed that have been fortified, seed that can produce the yield that will be worth their while, seeds that can produce again the produce that can, can, can compete in the world market. This is the basis uh, for this particular uh, policy. Meanwhile, the Federal Ministry of Transportation also got approval for the provision of four customized fire service search and rescue vans for the seaports in Port Harcourt and Tinkan Island and the Marina National Port Authority headquarters in Lagos at the sum of 510.9 million naira. Council considered the memorandum and approved the award of the contract as recommended and reviewed by the Bureau of Public Pro uh, Pro Pro Procurement in the sum of 510 million 934 naira, 934,000 naira 600. FEC approved for the ministry the contract for the procurement of rolling stock operations and maintenance equipment for the Kano Maradi standard gauge rail line that is currently under construction at the contract sum of $984.7 million. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.